It's a global scam up 39% over the last few years in the U.S. and Canada, according to the Better Business Bureau. And it's preying on those who think they're getting a cute and cuddly puppy. Focus investigative reporter Paula Bassan interviewed one woman from our local area who just became a victim. And she's sharing her story in hopes others will avoid her heartbreak. They literally must have just changed this. 24-year-old Sierra McLaurin is still shocked by the website that fooled her. Star Blue Pup Home. Now showing pics of Yorkies. That's crazy. Just an hour ago, they were French bulldogs up for adoption. But she says all she got was a broken heart. I just can't believe that they're still at it. The dream of owning a French bulldog on hold for this recent Bellarmine University graduate, now a middle school math teacher. For years, she volunteered here at the Animal Care Society, a shelter in Louisville, where she imagined one day adopting a dog of her own. It's okay. But she's always had a soft spot for one breed in particular. I've been wanting a French Bulldog for like the longest. So when she came across this pup named Jerry. I thought that it was perfect. And it was the cute little gray French Bulldog with blue eyes. She filled out an application. I even talked to someone on the phone. Receiving this video, photos and emails. He is very friendly, charming, welcoming. She used the mobile payment service Cash App to send over money she now regrets. $1,600. To get Jerry on a flight from Oklahoma to Louisville. Then they gave me a flight number. Except when she got to the airport, there was no Jerry. That's how I knew that. It was a scam. I'm outraged and angry about it. Bruce Gadansky with Louisville's Better Business Bureau has seen the number of puppy scams jump 39% in the U.S. and Canada over just a few years. The problem, he says, is driven by the fact law enforcement often can't catch the culprits. Scammers are creating more elaborate websites, using mobile services to get paid without leaving a trace. The result? 6,466 puppy scams reported to the Better Business Bureau in 2019. But he says that just skims the surface. For every one complaint or scam you see, there's 10 that don't get reported. With a majority, he says, tracing back to the African country of Cameroon. They've kind of established themselves as the ground zero for puppy scams. When we try contacting those behind this website. Please check the number and dial again. No one picked up or reply to our emails. It was all a lie. Leaving McLaurin with unused dog items in her living room. She says she's speaking with us to help others. Hopefully someone out there will learn from what I did. McLaurin told me these scammers were smart from their website with photos to glowing customer reviews. But now she knows there were red flags. The Better Business Bureau urges those looking for a puppy to adopt locally whenever possible, seeing the dog in person. They also say beware of surprise expenses. You can find the rest of their tips on our website, whas11.com. For Focus, I'm Paula Bassan. Well, if you have a tip that you'd like our Focus team to investigate, send an email to focus at whas11.com.